They literally have everything you could ever dream of as an aspiring medic. Hey everyone, I'm Uwa, I'm a first year medical student at the University of Nottingham and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, head over to my Instagram and my website to find out a bit more about what I do. In short, I post loads of useful content for you guys to help support your med school application and you definitely don't want to miss out on those if you want to make your med school application as amazing as possible. Drop me a follow and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and my content. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video which is me telling you the best resources out there that you can make use of as an aspiring medic. This is based and my own personal opinion so might be a little bit biased but I hope you still find it useful by the way none of this is sponsored no one or no website is paying me to talk about them I wish they were I'm making this video because I love reaching out to you guys and I love helping you and providing you useful content so yeah with all said and done let's get on with the video and here are the best resources that you can make use of as an aspiring medic so the first thing on my list the absolute number one top tier the bible for all aspiring medics is the medic portal they do a lot for aspiring medics and to help your application they give you so much information they give you so many tips advice they have UCAT practice questions, they have their own UCAT practice bank, blog posts, people give you their experiences. They literally have everything you could ever dream of as an aspiring medic to help you with your application, including information on each individual med school. And also subscribe to their mailing list. I subscribed in first year of college, so way back in like 2018, and I'm actually still subscribed now. I don't know why, but I just don't feel the need to unsubscribe. They give a lot of useful information about events going on, etc. They're absolutely great. Um, yeah, head over to the medic portal and have a look what they've got to offer. Another thing that I found like last year, summer when I put my post together, is the Brighton Sussex Medical School website. I think that's what it stands for. It's B S M S. They've currently got some virtual work experience going on, which is absolutely great right now during these pandemic times where you can't get any physical work experience. Um, so that's one of the things I know they're doing. They also do a few other bits, but personally, I've not really had a massive look into those. But I just think that virtual work experience is an amazing opportunity. And then the aspiringmedics.co.uk. They again do a lot for uh, aspiring medics, as the name suggests. They have links to a lot of different other websites you can make use of and things you can benefit from so again another resource to check out another sick website and sick resource is the medic mentor so they're a group of like doctors med students and teachers there's loads of different people medic mentor who are there to help and support your medical application they work with individual people they work with schools um, they have so many different shoots on there and it's just a really great resource to help boost and pretty much provide tailored support for your application. Hopefully at your college or sixth form or your high school even, you've got some sort of medics, dentistry and veterinary sciences coordinator or maybe you're able to speak to med students or doctors you know, who can help your application but if you've not got that at your disposal, you've got the medic mentor who provide you that support that you need. That's another mint website that you can go check out and go make the most of. I'm going to leave links to all those websites below by the way, I forgot to say before. Another one is the Medical Schools Council. They're basically like a voice for med schools but they also support aspiring medics, they support your medical application in the sense they give you a lot of information about med schools that you would potentially be applying to. So they tell you like what sort of UCAT or BMAT score they look at, whether they look at the UCAT or the BMAT or even in very few cases neither. They tell you about the rules and expectations of work experience for each different med school which is going to be really useful right now especially as a lot of the med schools have changed their work experience requirements in response to the pandemic. They tell you if the med schools consider your personal statement or not in the application process. Also what sort of interviews that med school does, panel, MMI, etc. They give you a lot of information about the med schools and it's really useful to look at before you apply or before you start going to open days just to give you a flavour of what the med schools like because Every single med school is different and this website can really help you inform your choice of where to apply. So a website that I used for my MMI practice was, I think it's the University of Sheffield, I can't 100% remember. If it's not, I'm going to link it below anyways, I've got it bookmarked. But they had some really, really tricky MMI questions that was harder than anything I got on the day. But because I could answer those and some other ones of course, I felt well prepared going into my MMI interviews. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that and you can check those out. It comes with like what the student or what the applicant would get 
and it comes with what the interview will have the interview card so basically it's just a really good resource to support your practices another resource which i absolutely love that i've talked about in the video is blackstone tutors it's, it's slightly outdated but it still gives you a good idea but they have a whole bank of interview questions that you can just make use of and go through at your own leisure um, for the different med schools so another one that i didn't write on my list but it's come to my mind right now is six med and that gives you a whole bank of interview questions for the different med schools but also tells you some history about med school and some information about the area that med school is in which is really useful for doing your research before your interviews in case you were to get asked about the city or about that med school okay so that's a lot of websites that hopefully you find useful and find really informative so now i'm going to talk about something that i absolutely love and i definitely think you should make use of and that is social media instagram tiktok youtube get onto those and get following and get involved with the med community on there that's going to give you such an amazing insight into what med school is really like and what being a med student is really like. It just allows you to form a realistic expectation of what you're going to be going through maybe next year, towards the end of this year, in a couple of years. It's just useful, so make the most of it. I'm going to talk about a few med influencers, I don't know if that's what you call them, med tubers, med instagrammers, whatever you call them, but the ones that I follow, the ones who I absolutely love. And this is by no means a comprehensive list, or no means saying these are the only ones that you should look at. These are the ones who I just really enjoy watching, enjoy following up on. So, here they are. The first three who are really influential and always come to my mind are Ali Abdal, um, Karma Medic and Bio2Med. So, Ali Abdal doesn't really do that much medic content anymore. He's off being a millionaire right now. His older videos in his back at Cambridge are still really useful and really insightful. Karma Medic, he posts some really fun and amazing vlogs as with Bio2Med and they both do study with me and give you advice on making notes as a med student etc. And with all three of those, they all had previous degrees and then came over to do medicine whether it was postgrad or they did it as an undergrad. Two postgrad medic pages on Instagram which I absolutely love and they're both at Nottingham coincidentally are the Mummy Medic and Belly Medics. So Belly Medics provide so much insights into their days as postgrad medic and they also like give some book recommendations so check them out. As with the Mummy Medic, she provides quiz every so often. Her page is just so fun and relatable and she's always something you can engage with so I absolutely love Lorraine's page and she's such a lovely person as well. This is something that I love about um, the med community per se. I talk to a lot of these people and they are just so amazing and again it's networking, getting to know people, getting to relate to people. I just really love it so yeah you should make the most of that too. Some other pages, Journey to Med, those girls are absolutely incredible, their videos are so fun and engaging and they are always constantly creating new updates and your content I actually stand them I don't know how they're always doing it they're still smashing med school and smashing the social media side of things as well so absolutely amazing Jess Oslo she's incredibly influential she's got a really useful blog post as well this has turned into some sort of cringy appreciation video um but oh well it is what it is <laughs> so another instagrammer Malone um, he provides a lot of medical content on his stories and a massive thing that I absolutely admire Malone for is that he wrote a book, Mind the Gap, which tells you about conditions and how you'd expect to see them in melanin and darker skin tones. So as a spiral medic, I think that's definitely useful to have a read of, but it's definitely something that I make use of as a med student right now when we talk about certain conditions. And it's appeared in some of my lectures as well. They've made reference to his book. And then Dr. Tolu, he provides days in the life on his reels, which are so fun to watch. If you need some sort of virtual experience, head over to his page because he gives you those really useful mini videos of what his days in the life of the doctor's like and then Dr. Emeka, I'll leave his picture on the screen. I found him like probably four years ago or so I want to say when I was watching Junior Doctors um, on TV and if you need a reason to do medicine again his picture's right here on the screen. And then um, the last two, The Medic Life, run by Dr. Bacta. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he has loads of different things going on all the time. Loads of work experience opportunities, loads of UCAP prep, loads of personal statement advice, interview advice, anything medicine related that you can think of, he's got it on his page. And that is definitely something that I made use of when I was a medic. And like, I'd even DM him when I was preparing for my interviews. And even though he's got thousands and thousands of followers he would still always get back to me and always respond to me and of course not to me he's doing that too he's doing that to all 
his followers so which is absolutely great he reached out he engaged with you, and that's exactly what you want from an influencer and then also the medic hut they have an amazing array of opportunities for aspiring medics work experience different conferences they hold from time to time that you can benefit from as a sparring medic. I quite frequently share their stuff on my page because the things they offer are top tier. So yeah, check those out. And finally, if you thought I was going to talk about a whole load of social media pages and med students and not talk about myself, you thought wrong. Head over to my Instagram to see all the amazing content that I put out for you guys to help you guys and support your application. I'm constantly talking to you guys on DM, which I absolutely love. So feel free to DM me as well, asking me some questions about myself, about my days as a med student, or for some support for your application. At the moment, my website is mainly stuff about me, but I am working on some content and some more support for your applications. I'll, of course, be putting um, updates on my Instagram, my highlights for when I have updates on my website and got some stuff out there for you to benefit from. I've got loads of content planned for you guys. It's really gonna support and really gonna boost your application, especially in these pandemic times where you may feel like there's potentially gonna be jeopardized. I am not gonna let that happen to you. You are still gonna have a 10 out of 10 and absolutely banging application to submit later this year. I feel like that video is kind of rushed. That's because I had 20 minutes to do it in. I've gone over and I've got a lecture in six minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for your support and for watching the video. I hope you did find it useful. Remember to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. And if you are applying to medicine anytime soon, I want to say good luck. You have 100% got this.